Few industries have spawned as many myths and urban legends as fast food. So let's take a crack at debunking some of the myths you've probably heard and might still believe. <laughs> Burger up! If you listen to Taco Bell haters, you might believe your beef tacos feature something other than actual meat. They've been accused of using everything from fillers to grade D beef. Something's not stacking up. Of course, none of it is true. Taco Bell even posted a since-deleted statement on their website, saying their beef was 88% beef and 12% other products. According to USA Today, those other products are things like trehalose and yeast. And registered dietitian Catherine Talmadge told the paper that they're safe to eat, and most are used for flavor balancing and texture. And if that doesn't stop model Chrissy Teigen from eating at the Bell, you're good to go. And we all know I love Taco Bell. I like that one. Mama like. KFC has been the victim of so many rumors, they've devoted an entire section of their Chicken Chatten website to debunking them. There's the mutant chicken myth that suggested KFC was breeding chickens with extra legs, and the KFC spider chicken myth, which suggested customers were eating chickens with eight legs and six wings. There's even the one that claimed they changed their name to KFC because they couldn't legally call their product chicken. But none of it is true. KFC sources healthy, perfectly normal, non-GMO-engineered chickens. They say their chickens have to pass both USDA standards and their own, and that less than 10% of chickens are, in fact, finger licking good! There are a few different stories about just how anti-military Starbucks is, and according to ThoughtCo, it all started with a viral message sent in 2004. It condemned Starbucks for refusing to donate coffee to U.S. Marines, and claimed they refused because they didn't support the war in Iraq or those fighting it. It was written by Marine Sergeant Howard C. Wright, and even though he later issued a retraction admitting that he'd been misinformed, the myth survived. According to a 2005 Starbucks newsroom release, Starbucks has not only committed to hiring thousands of veterans and active duty spouses, they've sent coffee and donations through the American Red Cross and the United Service Organizations. They even made commitments to expand into military communities and donate a share of those store profits to charities. We're going to continue to do everything we can to honor the service, the extraordinary young men and women who are wearing the cloth of the nation. This one is so common, Snopes calls it Kentucky Fried Rat. Is this chicken? Hell no. It's really impossible to turn a profit if you serve real chicken. Mm. Yeah, we use mainly bats. Snopes says the story dates back to a tall tale first told in 1976, where a woman was eating KFC, discovered she was chowing down on a fried rat, then promptly succumbed to a heart attack. McDonald's was accused of serving up a chicken head in 2000, then it was a mouse at Popeyes in 2003, and then a rat at Popeyes in 2016. Snopes says there's usually not a resolution to any of these cases, and none have been confirmed as real since official investigators are rarely allowed to examine the evidence. Just like every other fast food joint, Wendy's has been the subject of lots of meaty drama. We'll start with the claim that their chili is made with rat or horse meat. Snopes traced the myth to satirical news site NewsBuzzDaily.com and busted it. There's also a fake story from 2016 claiming a Wendy's employee had admitted to, and we quote, pooping in several hundred batches of chili since 2013, which is a whole lot of dedication to a very unusual cause. The story about finding a finger in a bowl of Wendy's chili was true, but considering the person who found it later admitted to also putting it there, Snopes says you can go ahead and get your chili on. No matter how much you love Arby's, you have to admit their roast beef has an odd texture. And that's given rise to the myth that they use liquefied meat. But in 2015, Business Insider went behind the scenes at Arby's to get the truth, which was zero liquid meat. Arby's brisket arrives pre-smoked and ready to slice in store, while other meats, including the roast beef, are slow roasted on location every day. Kendra. Yes. You know what? I am going to have that third steak after all. Go ahead and put that order in now, please and thank you. According to The Guardian, this one has been around for so long, it's gone from urban legend to an uncomfortable and rather racist joke. Snopes confirms the stories of cats, dogs, and even rats being served up in Chinese restaurants aren't just false, they do have racist roots. They found the myth circulating as far back as the 1850s, when Chinese immigrants began to settle in Britain and America. The story was a xenophobic knee-jerk reaction to the clashing of two very different cultures, accusations that have even closed restaurant doors and put people out of work. So let's enjoy our pork fried rice together in peace, because it's flippin' delicious. This myth alleges that while McDonald's labels their meat 100% beef, you may not be eating all the usual parts of the cow. 
I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. Since there's also an urban legend that McDonald's is the world's largest purchaser of cow eyeballs, Fatco looked at how cost-effective the practice would be. Spoiler, eyeballs are more expensive than meat. The USDA also specifies any beef byproducts need to be disclosed. So McDonald's wouldn't even be able to label eyeball meat as 100% beef. Ed, I see you. When McDonald's can consistently serve up perfectly round eggs, something has to be up, right? According to Business Insider UK, McDonald's eggs, which are genuine, are cracked right on location into egg rings that give them their perfect shape, so there's no need to worry about your perfect egg McMuffin. A whole series of reputable news outlets claimed that Wendy's was rolling out self-service kiosks where customers could place their orders and pay without dealing with human employees. So basically, robots would replace employees in the face of rising minimum wage requirements, which is a pretty dire look into our future. But you don't have to worry about the rise of the machines just yet. Their official statement was that they weren't replacing workers at all, they were just shifting the balance of their duties elsewhere. You go to Dairy Queen for ice cream, right? Well, not exactly. And the fact that they technically call it soft serve has led to the rumors that their products are dairy-free. This is a potentially horrible thing for someone to tell a friend who's lactose intolerant or allergic to dairy because it's not true. DQ calls their delicious frozen treats soft serve because their recipes don't meet the FDA guidelines for what can be called ice cream. Their soft serve falls short of earning the title because it doesn't have enough butter fat. Still, the first ingredients in the soft serve are milk fat and non-fat milk, so while DQ's signature dessert might technically be low-fat, it's definitely not dairy-free. There was a story going around that Tim Hortons was breaking into the marijuana market with the spreading legalization of the drug, and many customers were excited about the early morning one-stop shopping possibilities, including Canadian stand-up Mark Critch. You're already buying your weed in a parking lot, I'm just saying go inside where it's warm! <laughs> but it turns out the original story came from a site called The Global Sun, which is a spoof news site like The Onion. Tim Hortons hasn't made any official statements about becoming a coffee and donuts and and marijuana shop, though the move would probably give their donut sales a huge boost. McDonald's was painted as the bad guy when a rumor started circulating that they banned customers' employees alike from buying meals for local homeless people. But no, it's not true. The rumor started on a site called True Activist, and a couple incidents in England helped fuel the rumor mill. In one, a man was reportedly denied service because employees thought he was homeless, and in another, a local teen claimed she hadn't been allowed to buy a meal for an elderly homeless man. In both cases, McDonald's not only apologized, but stressed they had no such policy in place. Place. It's also worth giving a special shout-out to McDonald's in East Asia, as many of their 24-hour locations open their doors to those in need of a dry, warm place to sleep. It's not entirely unthinkable that Chick-fil-A would offer moms a free Mother's Day lunch, so when images and advertising appeared on social media in 2017, people believed it. But it wasn't true. Apparently, the ads were nothing more than some old-fashioned social media trolling, done just to cause some unfortunate moments for families and Chick-fil-A employees alike. After all, who's going to get the blame when a family goes out for mom's free meal and the doors are closed? Also, Mother's Day is on the second Sunday in May in the U.S., and Chick Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays, meaning moms who show up are out of luck. You're probably familiar with the unusual texture of McDonald's shakes. It's different than other fast food shakes, and that's led to a whole series of rumors about them, including one particularly nasty claim that they use pig fat. It's just not true. And McDonald's says not only is there no pig fat in their shakes, but there are no meat-based products of any kind, and they're safe for vegetarians. In 2013, McDonald's Australia shut down the pig fat question, too, claiming that the thick, distinctive texture comes courtesy of the blend and cooling process the shake goes through. 